Yeah, it's nice. <laughs> we'll just wait for some people to come in. Yeah. Um, we're very lucky to have you. Thank you very much. I think this is going to be very popular. Oh, that's nice. If it's <laughs> it is, it is wonderful. It's wonderful. It is wonderful. Um, welcome everybody who is coming in. I can still see we have lots of people coming into the room already. Thank you very much. We um, we've had a few technical issues. We're trying to be quite ambitious today. Um, we'll see how it goes. So please bear with us. Thank you very much indeed. Yeah, we try to do our best. <laughs> we'll do. We'll have a go. We'll have a go. I see that there are a few more people still coming in. Okay. Shall we start? Uh, yeah, okay. Sidi Kosan, thank you so much for joining us today. Uh, hello, everybody. Uh, my name is Simon, Simon Wright. I am the Director of Programming at Japan House, London. And today we have the great privilege of welcoming Kubo Kiriko, uh, the acclaimed manga artist, uh, to give a presentation and uh, hopefully a demonstration later on. Uh, <laughs> of some of her work. And this is the first in a set of three stories, yeah. uh, three sessions about manga. And today is uh, Develop a Manga Storyboard. And um, Kiriko-san will explain that a little bit later on and, and guide you through. Um, we have several hashtags. So if you're watching, please do um, comment. Uh, and, and maybe even if you're joining in with us at home, you can post any of your works on social media. Uh, be, uh, be aware to be able to tag us at Japan House LDN. We also have the hashtag Japan House London, and we also have the hashtag manga and hashtag museum from home. So just before we start, we have a few housekeeping rules. So please note that if you're taking part, your webcam and your microphone will be uh, disabled for the entire duration. But you can ask questions, and please do. We There's a question and answer function at the bottom of your screen, there should be. Your videos, that's a picture of video of me and the picture of, 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 of Kiriko-san, should be on the right-hand side. And on the left-hand side of your screen, you should have the presentations. At the bottom, the question and answer feature, Q&A, Please do send your questions through there, either anonymously or uh, with your name, and they will be moderated by members of Japan House staff and passed to us so that we can ask, answer your questions. Please do post your questions to Kiriko-san throughout, and there will also be a session at the end to answer any of your questions. Please note that this event will be recorded on Facebook, and I think we can go to Yes, our opening slide, how to make manga. Kubo-san, thank you so much for coming. I'll just tell some people a little bit about you if they're not quite sure. Uh, so you were born in Tokyo and you made your debut as a manga car in the early 1980s. And Cynical Hysteria Hour and Imadoki no Kodomo were huge successes. And, and since then you've, you've directed animation films, design, book covers, written essays, children's books, and a myriad of manga, including Buckets de Gohan. Is that right? Have I said uh, it? Yes. <laughs> Buckets de Gohan, which was animated for television in 1996, and uh, Doubutsu Uranai, yeah. from 1999 to 2007. And luckily for us, you have lived in London uh, for, for, for the last 20, 20 years or so. so yeah, luckily, more than 20 years. Amazing. It's a past <laughs> and so luckily we're in the same time zone and we can, we can, we can do this right now. Uh, so thank you very much indeed. You've worked on a number of projects, of course, but I would like to know you've done some design projects for UK hospitals, of course. Uh, yeah, luckily uh, I could work for the, uh, you know, uh, every inner children's hospital inside of St. Thomas Hospital. Yes. 
you know, opposite side of Big Bang. That's and, right. Yeah. And that is the beginning. And uh, I also did work for uh, children's uh, oral health and AME, and also a uh, philobotomy, you know, philobotomy department to take your blood out and check for, for the children. So it's kind of uh, some kind of children connection department I can still work in. And so you, you, made, you made murals, is that correct? And, mm -hmm. and you made murals, you, your, your, your designs were on the walls. Of... Uh, yeah, yeah, they kind of, I made an illustration and they enlarge, I mean, uh, how do you say, installing in a quite big scale on the wall or on the uh, uh, elevator, out uh, inside of the elevator and also door of elevator. And uh, it's it's quite successful, I think. It's the children sometimes scared to go into the, you know, operation theater and the metal elevator inside this metal is quite scary for them and to put in some illustration, it's kind of more atmosphere is friendly. So the last step to me, they stopped to scare so much. So that is really nice kind of uh, response from people, I guess. No, oh, what a wonderful idea. Uh, I encourage people to, to, to have a look online actually, to see if they yeah. can see. I think, I think it's wonderful. Um, very lucky, Evelina in St. Thomas's Hospital. Very lucky indeed to have your pictures there. And also <laughs> lucky for me, my work is in large. <laughs> <laughs> That's true because normally it's quite small. And so yeah, yeah. Like, uh, you know, the size is maybe A4 size on a book or sometimes it's a poster, but still not so in large, you know, huge. So it's nice work, nice work for me too. It's, I'm proud about that. I think we're very lucky actually to have it. So I think, I think we've, we've set the scene enough now for, for, for everybody to understand. Um, I can't stress enough how uh, lucky we are and how important it is that, that Kubo-san is with us today. Thank you so much. I will, I will let you get on with the presentation. We have the idea of doing a presentation first and then we will try and do a connection and some live drawing at, at the end and then um, please do send your questions through if you have any, and um, we'll, 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 we'll answer them for you. So over to you, Kumo san Thank Okay. You. <laughs> so shall we start? It's okay. Yes. Um, making a story, that is the beginning, I think, for the cartoonist. Um, so I think before I did directly uh, do the making a storyboard, but I think it's uh, it's feel now I feel more like uh, writing on the computer, such as a type shape of script, mm -hmm. and so I can easily uh, cut and uh, add. So it's kind of because the making storyboard it's quite tiring. So uh, firstly, making a uh, like a script, it helps later, it's much, much simpler. So I do uh, writing the story and uh, like you said, it's uh, like a page one and first frame and uh, character says something and second one is like a storyboard, but by a uh, line. So that is uh, maybe, um, what do you say? Not saves the time, but it's more um, easier. And also saves a uh, uh, paper, actual paper, because I really want to use the paper for making a storyboard. So otherwise you must uh, draw and something and throw away the paper. But if I do this, um, it save paper it is by uh, environmental, I think. So you can go to the next, uh, PowerPoint page, yeah. So after the following the script, I will making a storyboard. And storyboard in Japanese, we say name, but it's come from name. N name is as a verb, I think, because, um, you know, inside of the bubble, you can see the line that is by pencil. 
And the other part is we do pen and ink, but we just keep that for the editor to specify when put uh, uh, which kind of font or your know, typeface or size of that the typeface. Uh, the name is uh, specified those things to send to a uh, printer. And the printer uh, printed that part in a uh, uh, kind of on a paper. So they, the editor cut and the glue and stick is very, very uh, analog technique they did before. Now it's changed is they do editor, uh, digital editing. So they don't do that, that the glue and the stick. But uh, in the beginning, they said that so that Name is name, come from name and specify the font and uh, uh, size on uh, speech bubble lines. Mm -hmm. I didn't know, but I just check when I check the you know, word of name is any other meaning. And uh, I didn't know, but uh, they said that it's kind of some professional what come from directly they don't they just continue to use so this word name of yeah yes and also you know uh, other things it's uh you know when people do proofreading they have some test print we say get and it's come from a uh, gary print you know gary is uh gary 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 it's a Roman or Greek ship. Galley. Yeah. Galley prints, and yeah. Also it's English in the galley proof. It's like uh, when they do um, uh, letter press, they kind of put some uh, font to the, you know, on the kind of frame to print and mm. it looks like a galley. So it's come, come from that. It's kind of some things uh some special words some professional it's quite interesting in a way so we say we don't say name uh no we don't say name we say name <laughs> and that's and that's the storyboard and yeah that, that's that's what you create after you have made your list uh, yeah. Uh, make a story and the line and the actual line on the you can see visualize actual um, on the uh, image. So because uh, name, name, we can say name or storyboard is quite important for the process of making cartoon because uh, maybe when you draw that something and uh, if you directly draw, maybe realize, you realize later it's kind of you must uh, need much bigger space to some you know your special frame but you don't have any uh, space so to calculate enough space later or now also you know sometimes some frame you don't need actually when you you look back so storyboard is kind of, um, how do you say, blueprint for architect. So making something and uh, after making, you can see the kind of big object, uh, no, uh, object view and you see it's really neat or you need more, you can see that on that. So it's really, really important for making a manga. So and this, also, this, this, sorry, just yeah. sorry, if I may, this this one question. So this name that you you create here, yeah. Do you are you the only person who sees that, or do you send that to your editor? Uh, yeah, actually, after I make, I will send to my editor. So okay. in a way, editor is a fast reader. Okay. So, like a, you know, even I feel, even I felt it's kind of this is perfect story. She or he said, oh, I don't understand. I don't know. It's kind of meaning is a reaction from leaders. Mm -hmm. So if some kind of situation is not well told or too complicated or too skipped, I must adjust. Or maybe 
uh, originally the story itself doesn't work at all, you know, this kind of situation also there. So to show the name means storyboard to the editor is a kind of first step to it's okay to go ahead or just adjust or change or completely no, or people can, I mean, editor can judge that. So it's kind of scary process point. <laughs> yes, it's quite vital, isn't it? Yeah. So of course, and, and you, you, are, you are making manga mm -hmm. all, all the time. Your 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 editor is in in Japan. Is that right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. So you send you send your you send your your work to Japan for the editor to look at. Yeah. Just like this, just like what we're seeing here. <laughs> yeah. Usually, I scan and put on uh, put on a, a, a PDF file so they can read other pages, mm -hmm. and they can check and uh, send me some response. And if it's okay, I mean, each other is uh, happy to go ahead. We just go ahead. So also, you know, the point of the, the making that is uh, need a uh, uh, objective view from yourself, also the editor side. Also at the same time is why I always feel important about this because uh, name, if I can make a name, I mean, name, I can calculate how long it takes to finish. You understand? Because that is a very, very beginning of process. So if you can't make that, you can't go ahead. But if you make that, you can go ahead. And uh, we usually have some limit of time like uh, people have some weekly, like a uh, fortnight or uh, monthly. But if you have a name, you can calculate how much time you can use for each pages or, you know. So it's really important to make a schedule. So by that, I can make, a, we can make a schedule. Understood. Yes, the work of a of a of a mangaka is is quite pressured. Yes, you have mm -hmm. lots of deadlines to to meet. I I remember when we had Urasawa san here. Yes, he's maybe very very busy because his pages was... maybe weekly or fortnight mm -hmm. or and also pages longer. And so how he had to calculate his time to be able to be in London. Uh, and, 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 and schedule in his work at the same time. I yeah, guess. it's quite hard to especially come from other country because not only time for the, you know, airplane is kind of a recovery from jet lag, you know, that kind of thing. Mm. Yeah, I could see it was very pressured. So you're happy to have him, actually. <laughs> well, we, well, we were very lucky, I think, yeah. very lucky to have him. Yeah. And still in the toilet, his kind of life drawing there. In Japan House, indeed, yeah. when, when, when people come and visit uh, you, yes, people will still be able to see his little French bulldog in, uh, <laughs> in the so you, you can't repaint the wall for a while or forever. You can't, <laughs> not at all. <laughs> or just the cut and the bring back. Ah, yes, like a little bit of the Berlin Wall. Like a Banksy type to protect. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're very lucky to have that. Yeah. Okay, thank you. So that's a uh, name. We're talking about name. Yeah. We? So, and also I can say, you know, you can see my name is quite simple. People, I mean, me and my editor recognize its Fitch character, but uh, it's really just around and just the eye and it's very, very simple, just the layout and uh, who is where, you know. But depends on the cartoonist. I heard about someone really precisely drawing like a pencil drawing of the actual one. Some people making that kind of very detailed name because for that person, um, maybe she feel that is a way of she can kind of making visualize and easier for her. So it's a 
maybe it depends on the people is a different way to make. And also, um, I know very famous cartoonist in Japan. She started work when she was a high school. I mean, you know, we have a high school system like in the United States. So maybe 16 or 17 or 80 years old at the time. And she, she was a uh, student of high school and also she's a cartoonist already. So during the class time, she secretly drawing uh, names. So it's in a very, very small paper she used, I have. That is funny story, I guess. Yeah, making it really miniature to hide it from Yeah, the to hide easily. <laughs> it must be very detailed. Mm. Yeah, I don't know how detailed, but uh, that is a different person, detailed person and a small name person. It's a different person. So people are free to make the name as they feel fit, as they feel most comfortable, yes? Yeah, I think so. So some people just a simple marking as a position, but other people is more like a pencil drawing for the actual work, I guess. Okay. Thank you. And I have one question, I suppose, about this, this name. It's what size is, is it? Is it uh, uh, usually. Yes. For uh, you. Yeah, for me, it's A4 paper. A4. Mm. But uh, actual, uh, how do you say, um, work at the paper I use is a B4, B4 okay. size. It's a B4 size is very strange size because I guess just the Japanese cartoon field only use in there. Because we have a A4 paper, A3, but uh, B4, I haven't heard about using for except manga. So strange. I think it's uh, uh, they, we, we kind of uh, make a original work bigger, maybe 1.5 mm -hmm. size of the actual magazine size and shrink to print. Okay. So maybe the following the magazine size, the B4 size is by 1.5, I guess. Okay. Thank you. We have a question actually about Nenu from yeah. Raji Narayanan. Thank you very much for your question. Um, is the Nenu just one page long or can it be multiple pages? Oh, I see. Um, if you have a work for eight page, we must make eight pages uh, name and 24 pages you must make. So it's kind of a uh, uh, really like uh, actual wax blueprint, each page is. Okay. Make sense? Yeah, absolutely. So one name per page. Yeah. Absolutely. So it's not just a rough idea. It's really uh, the pen before the pencil drawing uh, blueprint. Okay. Wonderful. Thank you. Okay. Um, sh shall, we, shall we continue with the... Uh... Yeah, oh, this is pencil drawing. <laughs> um, so shall I just uh, connect and it doesn't work? Maybe we can kind of think any other way to display. Should we go through, let's, should we try and go, maybe go through the whole of the presentation? Oh, okay. And, and try, like and the, try, it, try and at the end, okay. yes. We've, we've had some connectivity problems, everybody. We were, something was going to happen here originally but we'll we'll go through and at the end we'll we'll have a go kiriko san and see what happens so maybe if you could explain what, what this yeah. is so shall we go to the next step so this is the komawari so, so sorry the komawari the frame division to assess the balance between the lines yes yeah actually uh that uh, screen you can see that that is the different story of the um name because after name, we just do pencil line, pencil drawing and ink in. So that is, I don't keep that, of course, it's going to the uh, pen and ink in line. So it's Komawari, it's, you can see the kind of layout and how currency the story is with tell, told. You can see that. So it's kind of, you can uh, adjust when actually 
uh, how do you say, the frame division, sometimes you suddenly realize, oh, it doesn't work so well and change a bit. So that's kind of adjustment I do, like uh, strangely editing before finishing. <laughs> I see. So can can the komawari, can the frame division, can that change between the idea you sent to the editor, the name? Yeah. The yeah, sometimes it's changed. Like uh, visually, maybe, you know, at the balance, something wrong, or you can have some better idea just to change, but not change the storyline itself. Just uh, uh, like I say, editing, like uh, instead of uh, long shots, just cut, 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 or, you know, that's kind of changing. Like a film. Yeah, like a film. Yeah, actually, I always feel making a cartoon, I mean, making a storyboard is really like a film storyboard, I guess. And, uh, you know, in your head, your character always moving. So it's kind of fitch, uh, kind of, uh, how do you say, image you can use on your paper. So it's kind of, you know, something moving in your head and but it's sometimes, you know, this kind of things or it's more like, uh, like this or it's fitch cut in your head to on the paper. That is, uh, it's really like, a filming for me the process of making film is quite similar luckily making cartoon it costs less <laughs> <laughs> easier and also you can direct by yourself and also you know uh, art by yourself and uh, music is not there but some people making a cartoon about music also maybe they have some music in their head you say easy. I, I don't think I could do it. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe it's a different from each person have some ability for which area is easy. Maybe you have some area I can't do at all, but it, for you it's easy. I guess. <laughs> Everybody yeah. has that, I think. Yes, indeed, indeed. I, I think people should have a go. Sh should we go on to the next? Do you want to yeah. see the next slide? What do we have? Inking. Yeah, so after pencil line, you ink in. And uh, maybe I use uh, this kind of pen. It's uh, Piguma. I think it's Japanese one. Yeah, but you can get in London. Mm -hmm. I mean, in England, in, uh, uh, how do you say, it's an art shop. Mm -hmm. Of course, it's much more expensive. <laughs> and also, yeah, oh, this is also a Japanese one. Yeah. So, but uh, this kind of pen is a uh, different size, like uh, uh, the head is 1.0 millimeter, and this is 0 0.8 and 0 0.3. And uh, I don't use so much very, very fine thin lines. So maybe usually this is fine for me to draw. So, uh, and so it's making a line. I scan the original work and put add something on the uh, computer. Because now is um, editing side also is a digital editing now, so I can send as a data before I send by paper. Mm -hmm. Luckily, it's not missing on the way, but uh, you know it's quite scary, <laughs> and also uh, maybe it take three days to Japan from England, so it's really um, you know thrilled or scared or if something happened it's completely destroy everything the schedule you know no indeed so now you can send it you can send it by email yeah. and it, can, it will arrive immediately in japan yeah and yeah. also 
when I came here in England, 1996, the mm -hmm. email capacity is not so huge. Now you don't need to send the big data by uh, through internet. Like uh, I can upload and the other side in Japan download. So, but at the time I just the uh, maximum 250 DPI to send by email. <laughs> How small you can imagine. Yeah. Yeah, it, it was a different time, wasn't it? Yeah. <laughs> that, that sound of, of, of connecting to the internet. We have, we have a question from somebody just about the pens, actually. Yeah. Um, what was the name of the brand of the ink pens that you used? Uh, okay. Uh, uh, I use one is Pilot drawing pen. That's a Japanese one, isn't it? Yeah, Japanese one, but uh, you can find in the art shop in England. Yeah. And also uh, Sakura hmm. Micron Pigma. I think I, I use this more. And also the size is slightly different. So depends on the which kind of line you draw, you can choose the head. Japan is stationary pen heaven, isn't it? I, yeah, I, I think yeah. so. You know, if I go to stationary shop, not, not art shop, stationary shop, and choose some pen, it's often Japanese one. Uh, it's good. <laughs> I think so. <laughs> I think so, very much. Thank you very much. So I had one question about this picture, actually, that you, this slide that you have. You've used different pens, yes, is that correct? You've got you've got thicker lines and thinner lines. Yeah. You've like used different pens rather than rather than uh, using the same pen to make it thicker. Uh, no, I think it's uh, like uh, you can see this bubble speech line here. Mm -hmm. I use maybe zero point two or zero point three of the one of the pen. Okay. And uh, you can see the light bottoms uh, girl's figure. That is quite thicker line. I use the uh, uh, 1.0 size. Mm -hmm. But other, other um, uh, main line, I use 0 0.8. But you know, the uh, bottom left and behind of the girl is kind of bare character. The, he has some um, uh, no, stroke. That is a uh, different size of the line of the main line is 0 0.3. So it really depends on the, how you want to make. Did you, did you ever use pen, pen and ink? I did before. Right. I did, I think it's a problem is uh, I have quite strong, uh, how do you say, holding pressure. Mm -hmm. And uh, it make my hand is very very tiring, mm. so I stop that. I understand. Mm. But if you want to make some very thin fine line, I can use this pen. It's mm -hmm. called Maru Pen. Mm -hmm. I think it's Japanese one. So it's kind of the special uh uh kind of pen for just the, how do you say, pen head. And mm. this one is just for maru pen and I just put the maru pen's uh, head. So this is very thin line you can draw. So it's maybe nice to use for the uh, effect. Okay, thank you. I don't use for main line so much. Thank you, okay. Should we go to the next slide, maybe? Yeah, effect. Okay. So um, it's kind of, a, I have an assistant in Japan. Yes. So after uh, scanning the main drawing, I just uh, indicate is uh, like uh, this, you know, cross there. It's meaning paint black. 
and uh, bottom of right, right side is I indicate to my assistant about the shoot line, concentrated line, and uh, left side I can say it's Nawa. Nawa is uh, how can you say it's like a rope in English, <laughs> but mm -hmm. it's some effect. Mm -hmm. But I think I can explain this to the uh, second session, not today. Okay. And uh, you can say the number uh, now are 63, just it's not official things, just me and my assistant. We have some sample, make a sample and numbering. So I just uh, indicate, please do this number to effect. And that, and your assistance is in Japan. Uh, and, yeah, so we kind of do remote. <laughs> it's good that yeah, it's good that we can do that now. It just yeah. like <laughs> yeah, it's so it's meaning it's not change my schedule so much, and also you know I'm here in London, mm -hmm. and she's in Tokyo. Uh, no, she's in Japan. So you know we have a, a time lag. When I finish and send her my work through some internet device and uh, ask to do this, and uh, I could go to sleep and she wake up and <laughs> do that work. So, you know, it's working well, I guess. So this is not new to you at all. <laughs> While everybody else has been, been been trying to work remotely and across time zones, you, you, you've been doing it for... Yeah. yeah, yeah. It not changed so much about my schedule. It's during the, you know, in this situation, it's so strange for me to not change, but outside world is change a lot. Mm. We have a question here, actually. You mentioned your assistant. Yeah. Uh, is it common for manga artists to have an assistant? Yeah, I just have a one assistant, but uh, some people has much more like uh, longer pages, you know, I mean, long, uh, much more pages. They, and also it's more tense kind of uh, deadline. They use uh, several people to assist for making because that is working in uh, Japanese uh, manga world, I guess. I mean, some people try to do by themselves everything, but it's really, really tiring, I think. The relationship you have with your assistant, you must have a lot of trust. Yeah, actually, um, we working together more than uh, 30 years. Wow, okay. So it's kind of the basic, we get on well, and uh, if I say A, she can immediately get A. You know, it's kind mm -hmm. of a response easily, quickly, each other. So it, yeah. it's, it's lucky I have my assistant. Oh, it, it's, it's, um, it's, and it's important by the sound of it as well. It mm -hmm. means you can make more as well, quicker, I presume, yes? Yeah. Okay, thank you. Should we, should we go on to the next slide? Yeah, please. Okay, so this is the finished drawing. Yeah, you can see that, the, you know, the line is the same, but the behind is a different. Also, you know, uh, some effect. I mentioned the bottom right, it's concentric line. And the left is, I said, Nawa is like... Uh, Nawa 63. Yeah. So it's kind of uh, finishing uh, process for me. And I send to my editor this, and she put some font on that, my, uh, on the speech, in, inside of the speech bubble. So the, 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 the words, mm. the lines are, are inserted in Japan by, by the editor? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I'm not sure the English people, what they can do, you know, they uh, 
right to buy themselves? The line inside of the speech, or somebody put some font or depends on the cartoonist. I didn't have a chance to ask. <laughs> Me neither. Me neither. But what I'm getting from this conversation and from other conversations I've had before is how important the editor is in this mm. sport. Yeah. Younger artist. Wonderful. Thank you very much. Shall we try to connect? Yeah, okay. While you're trying to connect, I will I will tell people, um, please go ahead and have a go. I will tell people who are watching about um, one important thing, I think, uh, to to say uh, about uh, Kirikosan is that uh, she is a um, judge for the Manga Jiman competition, which is held by the embassy every year, and uh, the embassy of Japan, that is, in London, and is open to budding manga ka. So if you do have uh, the desire to, to become a manga artist, uh, or would just like to try and submit your work, please, please do. There um, are links to that on the Embassy of Japan's website, most definitely, but I'm sure we will be able to at Japan House as well, put anybody in touch with uh, that link. I believe that the competition is now open this year and the closing date is, I believe, uh, in November, I think the 16th, but um, please do check their details for that. And, and Kubo-san has been a judge since the, the very beginning of that particular competition. So Kiko-san is trying to connect now, yes, is that right? Yeah. Is it, is it, is it not, not allowing you to I'm not sure it's still, you know, the, the charging or connecting not stop. Usually if you stop, you can see. Yeah, we can't see exactly. Mm, yeah. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm not, I'm a, a, although I'm a little disappointed at the moment, this, we can probably correct this for next time. Mm, so, yeah, I hope so. Is, sorry, sorry, everyone. No, it's, it's not your fault. Sure. We're having some connectivity problems. It's the technology is defeating us. It's um, we have we have more more sessions, so we have three sessions. This is the first one. I I am I am I am certain we will be able to get it uh, working for the ah well no here we go oh no that was somebody else <laughs> don't surprise me <laughs> um, we we've, we've gone back to 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 the presentation. It, it's not. It's not a problem. We will. We will make sure that it try. It works next. Yeah, time. I hope it's sorted out soon. We had a special treat of of Kiriko San being able to actually draw uh, for us. But we will. We, we'll be able to sort that out next time. We have two more sessions, of course. We have some questions for you, Kiriko San. Yeah. Um, so there's there's lots to do in in the time we've got left. In your opinion, is it harder to design the storyboard? or the drawing, which is harder, the storyboard oh. or the drawing? Hmm. That's a good question. I think it's, uh, maybe it depends on the story sometime. Um, you know, it's the most difficult thing is making a story. I mean, making a storyboard because that is the beginning. And uh, I think a lot of people, I mean, a lot of cartoonists sometimes struggling to make that, you know. But the, after that, making that feel a bit relief. And, uh, but sometimes, some depends on the, what will you draw, it's difficult. So I think it's basically, is making storyboard is more harder much harder for us because drawing sometimes is a difficult, but uh, maybe people draw anyhow and uh, we have some ability to draw anyhow. Mm -hmm. So maybe storyboard is harder because 
without that, we can't do anything. I remember your comments from before when 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 I was lucky yes lucky enough to first when I first met you that that you mentioned that the story is so important for making mm. yeah uh, it's, it's, I think of course you know it's a nice drawing is really good if they have ability to draw it's also really precious but strangely if people making cartoon drawing a lot gradually sometimes gradually not always maybe but it's drawing much become better and better yes yes if you understand this so even in the beginning you are uh, drawing it's not sparse but if you have something to tell to people through cartoon maybe also you can like you you like making drawing and drawing a lot is kind of improving your uh, drawing, I guess. Okay. So, Thank you very much. Yeah. The story is important. That's what I, think, I mean, I can't say story is more important, but sometimes a uh, beautiful drawing doesn't work. Sometimes even story is not good. So maybe people can combine if, you know, is sometimes somebody making a story good and as a person making a drawing good to combine to like a unit. Ah, like Asterix. I remember Asterix the mm. ghoul was a, is a, is a combination of two, 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 two uh, creators together, a story, a story, story writer and a, and a Yeah. And you know, in Japan, a lot of um, cartoonists making a story and draw at the same time, but United States is divided like a more production system. Hmm, understood. And, and on this story, actually, we have a question that's, that, that's come through. Thank you very much from B. De Campos, I believe. I hope I've said your name correctly. Thank you very much your story, for, your, for your question. It's a question for you, Kiriko-san. Have you ever illustrated someone else's story have you worked oh, with someone else has developed i uh, like a best story there and i will making a manga that um i haven't but i mean it's if i have a chance it's nice to do that because i didn't try yet i haven't tried yet but i haven't yet okay thank you very much for your question thank you um we do have one here um how do you decipher so how do you know how much space a frame gets are there any factors that change how much space is needed in a frame such as more text or whether the artwork is dramatic oh we just uh, make Rhyme, you also have some visual image at the same time, in my case. So maybe sometime I making a story, I mean, on the, just, the, you know, just writing down, mm -hmm. I have some image about, oh, I want to make this line in some kind of big frame. Or sometimes I can make this small, so it's kind of always have some visual image with story. Okay. It makes sense? Yeah, absolutely. Okay, so it's, it's you, you, you transfer what you have in your mind, what you can see mm. on the page. Do you, do you and the editor ever have different ideas? This is another question from... from oh, this. yeah. Uh, like sometime, I think it's everybody, everybody can understand story, but if editor said, oh, I don't understand, it's meaning a lot of people don't understand. <laughs> is there ever a clash is the other part of this question. Yeah, so it's kind of if they, he, she or he doesn't agree about my kind of idea, maybe consider to change my idea itself or more explanation 
situation will be made to uh, like uh, make them understand. So it's kind of two way, just to change or just, you know, the other one is maybe some process is not enough to make them understand. So it's kind of try to convince to do something, not by kind of fighting, just to showing some different uh, storyboard. But the uh, element is the same if I don't want to change. And if still they don't understand, maybe I should change. So there's never really a clash, you work it out. Mm, I don't think it's no clash. Because I always feel they are first leader. So I make a manga for reader can read. So if they don't understand, maybe generally not too understood. Okay, thank you. We have another question here from Lori. Um, what first inspired you to start making manga? Um, I think making manga. I mean, I really like, you know, children's TV animation program when I was a small kid. And uh, one of that is uh, uh, Tezuka Osamu's Jungle Taite. <laughs> it's a uh, kind of, how do you say in English, Jungle Taite? Um, the emperor of the jungle? Emperor of the jungle is the literal translation. I mean, I know this is what the uh, the Lion King was was based on, isn't it? Yeah, so. yeah. I really love that. So I draw a lot. And, uh, you know, when I was a child, it's not just uh, um, making manga, it's uh, just a drawing. But I think uh, when I started to draw some framed one, framed like Komawari manga, um, maybe, you know, Obake no Kyutaro. Fujiko yes. Fujio's kind of children's cartoon. Mm. I kind of copied and I made my own version. Maybe that is a fast frame one, I guess. Okay, I can kind of see that actually in your work there. I can see. <laughs> No, but it, it's important to show that actually then you're, you are part of a legacy of, of mangaka in a, in a, in, of, of people passing on the inspiration mm. down the lines. And I'm sure you're a, a great inspiration to other people as well. And you will continue in, in part of that. mangaka in, in influence other, uh, um, and inspire other mangaka to create. Yeah, like uh, you can see, you know, the first title page of the, the boy is uh, moving, but how do you say, bata bata is kind of clumsy way. Mm -hmm. It's maybe that movement influenced by uh, Akatsuka Fujio. Okay. Maybe, maybe people see their works in the British Museum's um, manga uh -huh. exhibition. Mm -hmm. Last year, yes, that was very good, wasn't it? Very yeah. good. So it's kind of definitely I influenced the kind of people who made a pass for manga. Thank you. Um, we have another couple of questions before we finish, I think. Mm. Um, roughly how long, this is from Ray East, thank you Ray, roughly how long is the process between the first writing the story and finishing the storyboard? Uh, it depends on the, how you can make a story quickly. Like uh, maybe if, if you make a story and check and uh, you know the story is meaning the right down the line and uh, make a, making a storyboard immediately after that. Okay. So, but depends on the when it's finished for the line. If it's the morning, maybe I can start a storyboard afternoon, or if I don't have a time, I just do at the same time, you know, it's really uh, how much time I have. So it's flexible and depends on the, on the deadline. 
Mm, yeah, yeah, deadline is help you to kind of push you a lot. We have another question here as well. Where, where do your story ideas come from? Do they come from everyday life? Yeah, I think it's sometimes is a day, daily life, some kind of something funny, kind of moment or suddenly remember childhood things, like it really depends on that. So um, yeah, everywhere, if I, I can use, I can use anything. Like uh, if Simon did something funny or wrong, maybe I can use that. <laughs> so you take inspiration from everywhere, yes? Yeah, like uh, I think I really like observing people generally. Like uh, I, I'm not the person who check uh, mobile or listening music when I'm on the bus or train. I just to uh, sit down and uh, look around and see people and uh, imagine their life. That is I do always. Okay, thank you. We have maybe time for maybe just two more questions, then, we'll, then we will wrap up. Um, one question here, uh, do you believe life and figure drawing are important skills to have in order to become a manga artist? Sorry, fit draw, fit drawing. Life and figure drawing, so drawing, drawing from life, uh, like our students would, would draw the human figure. Oh, I see, I see, I see. Yeah, I think it's not bothering. I mean, to because you know, the like my my style. You can see the proportion is completely different from normal human being. But if you know how to bend or, uh, you know, put your hand or foot somewhere, I think it's become a basic kind of uh, construction of the human body and you just adapt for your figure. So it's quite useful, I think. And also, you know, um, when I talk with my editors and they do also, you know, manga uh, kind of contest, they always said to the contestant about, uh, uh, how do you say, do croquis. It's kind of quick drawing for the people. It's very, very good. So it's, Useful. I think also thinking about, I should learn like a life drawing by myself in, if I have a time. So basically, yes, have yeah. a go. Have have a go if you think it's uh, if it's yeah. Have a go. Yeah, I think you because like I said, even it's a kind of the figure of the style of drawing is different from actual posture of the human being. You know that is the base. So you must kind of adapt and uh, uh, arrange. Okay. So it's useful, I think, it's good. It's kind of, it's a, always tip by the, uh, from the uh, editors and the cartoonist. Okay, thank you. And maybe this is our last question for the moment. This is from Wanda Ndonofriel. Are there standard effects used to express specific situations and feelings? or do you come up with your own? Uh, I think we have both. We have typical expression, I mean, effect or ex expression feature. Um, it's mentioned here, effects. Effect, yeah. Effects which express mm. special situations. So like, uh, you know, concentrated line is often you, the person who kind of, uh, how do you say, uh, shock, surprise, eureka, or, you know, several kind of pattern, not only one meaning, but uh, you can kind of use for some moment you feel right to use. Okay. And also the uh, next one, like a bottom left is, I said, Nawa, it's like a low fear. It's always some um, anger, anxiety, like, uh, uh, yeah, that kind of things. 
we use. So some typical way to use we have. Okay, wonderful. Thank you very much indeed. Thank you. I think today that's that's all we'll, we have time for. Uh, we will. We've, we've got a few slides to go to go through to to explain to people. Thank you very much, everybody, for for joining us. We um, we have two more, of course, with with you, Kiriko san So please do join us, everybody, for for more manga related uh, events. We do have, though, on Monday, the twentieth. That's next Monday, isn't it? The uh, UK-Japan relationship, security, and political cooperation. That's a joint, <coughs> very serious. Wow. Very serious one. A, a joint one with Chatham House here in London and the Embassy of Japan as well, uh, with uh, a number of speakers. We will also have on the Monday after the 27th of July, we will have um, making a Hiro College Tenugui face covering, which I, I have my own here actually from uh, so uh, in fact staff in japan house uh, will be wearing these um, and you, if you when you do visit you'll be able to see people wearing them so takahashi hiroko is a, is a textile designer in tokyo and she will be taking us through technology permitting uh, various uh, stages of making your own face covering and then we have after that Here you are again. So on Wednesday, the 29th of July, which is the next, the next manga were masterclass with Kubo-san. It's inking manga patterns. And we, uh, we will try again to, we hopefully will have some demonstration as well. Yeah, I hope so. <laughs> we, we'll, we'll make that happen. And then we will have one more after that as well. And just as it's a sneak preview, our, uh, exhibition when we do open at Japan House uh, in, in September, we are planning, is Architecture for Dogs. You'll be able to see that on our website. Um, so please do have a look for that for more information coming up. Okay, thank you very much, everybody, for joining us. Kiriko-san, thank you so much. It's thank you. Thank you for your time. And not sorry not to show in demonstration, maybe next time, I hope. I think we will be able to make it work next time. Don't worry at all. Thank you very much. We look forward to seeing you again. And everybody else who's joined us, please do send us any messages, do upload any of your own manga uh, using the hashtags. And don't forget to try and enter the Manga Jiman competition at the Embassy of Japan as well. We'll give you some more details about that another time. Thank you very much indeed. And we will see you next time. Thank you very much indeed, everybody. Stay safe. Thank you. Bye-bye. Thank you very much. Bye-bye, Kiriko-san. Bye-bye.